I love gold! Cause in-game gold has been a staple in video games since the 8-bit link days. And even now, wild gold farms across the world still rejoice when a new expansion drops. Why? Cause people love making money! And that goes for inside video games too. Don't you look at me like that, I know all about your in-game hoarding ways. Cause they're mine too. But if you love gold and you love making money, then you need to check out the latest intel I acquired that is so good, so juicy, so ripe for the grinding, that it's giving me gold fever. It's mission time. I want you to join the GIA. As a member, you'll unlock exclusive content on my YouTube channel, early access to new games, monthly in-game supply drops, and gameplay ops with me and the rest of the agents. Playing games and making money is like the freaking holy grail to most gamers, no matter how old you are. But the reality is most games today simply are not built to allow the player to cash in on their time and hard earned loot. The obvious gap in gaming economies has now given rise to the play and earn movement, where you can have fun playing the same types of games you're used to, but also get to earn real world value from your time. This could be through earning in-game gold that's exchangeable for dollars, running a business in-game, or selling NFT-based skins and items on a marketplace to other players. Now while some NFT games seem like they just slap an NFT bumper sticker on their family wagon of a project and call it a day, others are using this new technology to create games like Gold Fever where the whole point of this PvPvE MMORPG is to farm gold and not die. This game is literally built to farm gold and then sell it to others, just like you've seen in good old World of Warcraft for years. Now, Gold Fever takes us back to the 1800s and drops you inside the treacherous rainforest of the Amazon. At its core, Gold Fever is a straight-ahead survival MMO that pits you against other players and the elements in a race to mine as much gold as you can before being killed or run off your claim. To cash in and extract some real money from this one, you're gonna have to fight, you're gonna have to use stealth, you're gonna have to strategize, make friends, just be plain lucky to really escape with the loot here. The first decision in Gold Fever is actually one of the more important ones. You see, you can pick only one faction. So either going for a gold fanatical adventurer setting on Strike It Rich in the jungle, or you fight as a tribal whose mission is to take back their sacred ancestral gold from the invading white devil. You get a decent character customization screen, but it would be nice to get a few more options here to take us into like full MMORPG mode. The great thing about this game is it is completely free to play. While free players are severely limited in how much money they can earn, beware of actually catching gold fever and getting hooked, because the first one's always free, baby. At this point, if you're thinking this is going to be so easy, I'm going to be filthy rich. Let me stop you there. This game is not easy. There are a ton of complicated gameplay elements here, very similar to like a Daisy, but the team has some great in-game tutorials that help set you on the right path. While a lot of survival games tend to be solo missions, Gold Fever has a well thought out party system too. Mining gold uh, in the jungle is super dangerous. So having some friends to watch your back could really work out in your favor. Or they could get greedy and turn on you in a gold-fueled machete massacre. Whether you like to clan up or not, the hunt is on and you could be a gold-crazed lunatic's next target. If you're going to survive out there in the jungle, you're also going to need supplies. While crafting is a thing, you will have to buy some supplies to get started. Pockets feeling a little thin? No juice in the tank? No tango dinero? Well, just find yourself a junk pile to dive in and find some scraps to get you started. Okay, so you've got yourself a gold pan, a torch, maybe a donkey. Now it's time to get a mining claim by heading over to One-Eyed Wilhelmina. One-Eyed Willy. Okay, well that's, that's not her name. Like, I, I just gave her that name, I don't know. But you know, she has glasses on. She We could just pretend she's got a missing eye. Okay, thanks, bye, whatever, whatever. Now look, there are both free and paid claims. The free claims, of course, contain less gold and will be hotly contested. But once you have a claim staked, it's time to Use your map and get to make that journey. The map system needs some improvements for sure, but it's enough to get you where the gold is. Getting to your claim can be quite the trek as the gameplay map is huge, but you can ride a horse there or rent a boat and take all your friends with you in luxury. Just don't forget to put on clothes before you head out, otherwise it's gonna be an awkward boat ride. <laughs> now, panning for gold is as simple as getting in the river and sloshing some dirt and rocks around. Or is it? There's a, certainly a strategy here, and after countless, 
painstaking hours of recon, I found out that gold tends to collect in the bends of a river, so start there. Okay, okay. Well, maybe I didn't do all that research and just had the devs turn on god mode, but whatever, same results, right agents? If you get good like me, then all your diligent work will pay off in hard, shiny nuggets of glory. There's gold in them, Nar rivers. Now that you got some gold burning a hole in your pocket, you just need to make it back to town alive and laugh all the way to the bank, because it's payday. So, this is where it all goes crypto on you. But let's break this down simply with my latest intel report that I have right here. Ugh. All right, Gold Fever has been in development since 2021. There are 170 million NGL crypto tokens, which represent all the gold that is mineable in the game. Real gold on our planet totals around 250,000 tons, but it's not that rare and will be mined on asteroids soon. You can run over 20 different businesses inside Gold Fever by owning an exclusive NFT. April 27th is the mint date of their Genesis Masks in NFTs, which are a huge part of the game. But let's talk about why all this stuff is actually cool and some things I don't like. I love the idea of owning a business in a game like Gold Fever and having that ownership tied to an NFT makes it easy to trade to others. Banker, butcher, blacksmith, even kennel owner could make you some passive income here. Just please, please stop letting the dogs out. Now these commercial NFTs as they call them were the first round of sales the team made and while they provide a lot of utility, they pale in comparison to the upcoming Genesis Mask NFTs. These Mask NFTs are incredible to look at and I love the lore behind why they give you special powers in the game. I think the team packed more utility in these NFTs than I have ever seen. You get things like access to mainnet launch of the game months before others, a one minute early access to future drops, extra gold extraction, carry capacity increase, and increased fighting skills, all depending on the rarity of the NFT you get. While it all sounds good, some of these perks are clearly pay to win, and most of the time that really grinds my gears. But in a game like this that is focused on extracting value, it somehow seems to make sense. But I still don't like it! The mint price for these mask NFTs is a bit high, starting off at 0.111 ETH on OpenSea here on April 27th, or you could go into a Dutch auction and use their NGL token as payment. When you smelt it all down, Gold Fever brings some fun new elements into the survival MMO genre by taking a step further to unlock real earning in a game that actually makes sense to grind for that sweet, sweet pay dirt. If you haven't caught Gold Fever just yet, jump in and play for free when they launch later in Q3, but watch out, because I'm coming for your stash of gold. That's all we have for today, agents. Like always, this briefing never happened. Secret Agent Stash, over and out. Secret Agent Stash.